Hi there, welcome to a new video, it's me Martin. If you're new here, I make videos about online English teaching, lessons and a variety of other things. So feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. But today in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my update with the Preply Classroom and a couple of things that may help you when it comes down to online teaching using the Preply platform. So uh, let's dive in and uh, we'll head over into the classroom. Usually, and as you can see on here, um, when you enter the classroom, you'll get to test your devices. You'll see your webcam, you'll get to test your microphone. And if I have a look here, my speaker, you can choose a variety of speakers. You can select your mic. Um, and then if we go to camera, then the particular camera that's being used to capture. And uh, then you just hit enter classroom. It's exactly the same as when you join a lesson with a student. But this one is a test classroom. It's like a demo classroom. So to begin with, you'll see at the bottom we have a variety of tools. You can turn your mic off and on. You can turn your camera off and on. And here we have tools. You can either share your screen and it will come up with a tab here. A Chrome tab, you can choose a particular Chrome tab to share. You can choose a particular window or you can choose your entire screen. But usually I tend to share my Chrome tab. And as you can see here, one of my students, we were looking at, uh, you know, public transport and a variety of things here. Um, and that was yesterday. Anyway, um, you'll come here and you can see at the top, you know, stop sharing view tab, Preply platform. If you click here, you can see exactly what is being shown and shared. Um, if we go to here, for example, you can see share this tab instead. You click that and then we're there. We're over in the uh, sharing this screen. If we go back here, you can see if we go here, it's back to the other original screen. Um, now, um, let's stop sharing for the moment. Um, so you can share your screen. You can share particular windows and that sort of thing. However, when it comes down to Google Documents, this is a hidden gem, something that I really like to incorporate when I'm teaching students, because not only do I have access to the Google Documents um, that I'm sharing, the students also do as well. They can type, they can scroll, they can copy and paste things in as well. How do we do it? Well, we click on Tools, Open Tools, and here we've got a variety of things. We've got um, whiteboard, teaching assistant, library, vocabulary notes and lesson activities. Let's click on whiteboard first of all and here the whiteboard is currently not available in the demo classroom. Nope. Okay, well huh. I've hit a stumbling block. That's a shame because um, let's go into one of my students. Let's say one that I taught yesterday. Let's enter the classroom. He's not going to be there but um, if we go into tools and whiteboard, uh, the whiteboard will open up um, and uh, you, you can see a variety of different lessons. You can enter the different whiteboards. So let's say yesterday I was teaching this particular student and it will come up with the Google documents that I shared here and uh, a variety of things as well. So let's go to this future lesson that I'm teaching. If we go here, for example, um, at the bottom, you've got like a mosaic tab, but also you have a variety of tools as well, type, uh, you know, different draw tools, erasers. Uh, you can clear the whiteboard completely. You can move things around, but the mosaic tab, you can have a countdown. The countdown's pretty good. You know, you can just click start and it will count down from three minutes onwards. Or if we uh, reset, if we go for one minute, done, you know. Um, so this is quite useful when it comes down to speaking activities or if you're practicing IELTS speaking tests with the students and you want to have a countdown timer, just so that you're aware and the students aware how long they've been speaking as well. So that's a countdown timer. If we go back again, 
We got YouTube, so you can like embed YouTube videos in the uh, lesson. Um, we've got Google Documents, upload files, save image, and qu Quill. Quill. Not sure what Quill is, but I guess it's a text-based thing. Um, for me, when it comes down to Google Drive and what I want to incorporate with the students, I go here, for example, if I click Share, Copy Link, and if I go over to the link here, um, I can paste it in, click OK, and there we are. We have um, a variety of my lessons. And one thing I like to do is have tabs in. So I just create a new tab and then it's that day's lesson with my speaking feedback and it just saves things and it, it reduces the amount of clutter and everything's accessible. So um, here, for example, yesterday's lesson, public transport, um, and then we have a variety of things available. Now, as I mentioned with this, the student can see it, I can see it, the student can type, I can type, they can scroll, they can copy and paste images in and that sort of thing. Now, if we quit that, the other thing that I like to do is to upload files, usually PDFs as well. So if I click PDF and let me have a look for a particular uh, lesson. Um, now, yeah. So, for example, uh, one of my lesson plans that I share with uh, channel members, um, they have access to this lesson plan. Um, I'm just uploading it now, but it's about a movie review. It's all in PDF, and you can see here everything that I've included for this lesson plan. So again, I can type the answers. So that's a good answer. Uh, I can move things around. I can increase the size, decrease the size. I can bin it, I can copy and paste. There's a variety of things that you can use within a PDF. So if you have a PDF, then you can still include a couple of annotations, drawings, etc. The student has access to that as well. And if you want, you can save all your documents. So if you click save all documents, it will start downloading the file, including with all your annotations and everything else. So it's really useful. And if we click here, for example, we've got everything there. Now, if you want access to this lesson plan, feel free to join our channel members. Um, there is a variety of videos for just channel members and lesson plans. It will be great to have you on board. Anyway, um, if we move on, if we close the whiteboard, we have a, a couple of other tools. We've got Teaching Assistant, and here, you know, we've got Talk Now Exercises. You can click Open, and uh, you can add words, you can create Talk Now Exercises, etc. You can create Conversation Starters. This is pretty good, so if we go to Intermediate and say Public Transport is a uh, particular topic that I was looking at previously. Then uh, here you can see a variety of vocabulary questions and it's great. You know, you can look at the vocabulary together, pronunciation, and you can start to incorporate this within your lessons. You can copy, for example, and if we open up the whiteboard again and we open the text tool let's put it in black for example increase the size slightly okay so just this small little tab here copy Dum. conversation starter copied click back here paste and here we have everything available yeah so we've got key vocabulary conversation questions and everything's available um, there's a lot of tools um, there as well. If we just remove that, head back, we've got a library. So these are lessons available on Preply. For me, I tend to focus on the conversation starters, the vocabulary and my own material. But if you're a little 
nervous, you don't have the confidence just yet to create your own lessons, feel free to use these lessons, conversation starters, etc. So, for example, key phrases for meeting, and then you can just click open, and then everything's included there on the whiteboard, and the student has access to it, um, and you know you can kick off, start or begin. Um, so there's some great uh, lesson material um, in the library. If we click notes, these are notes that you shared by yourself, error corrections, lesson objective materials, etc, etc. These are shared with the student. Or you could hit private and just notes for yourself. So things that you're going to include or focus on in the next lesson. And then finally, we've got lesson activities. OK, um, again, this is related to the the library of resources um, and because I've not used any material on the lesson, you know, in Preply, um, it's still trial lesson and you can change it. You can go through, you can have a look at maybe work life balance, add that to the lesson. If we click back, hopefully it's changed. Yes, it has. And if we go to welcome live lesson again, if you feel a little, you know, self-conscious, you don't have that confidence just yet, then, you know, you can click open lesson activity and then you can just start and just follow things through. Um, this is OK, but I like the conversation starters because most students enjoy just conversation, speaking feedback and that sort of thing. Now, finally, the last thing I like to do is, you know, you've got the lesson insights. Um, the student has to agree to the lesson insights, but the student hasn't. But those that do, it's quite powerful. I, I did share it in a previous video. Um, other than that, you know, if you hover over your webcam like here, you can go grid and then you've got a larger size here and then your student will be visible there um, if we go to you know if I click on my student it can hover over um, there's a way to hover it over because if you're sharing a particular tab I like to see my student and it will just come up at the top like above the uh, tab itself so um, that's it um, I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope it was useful uh, kind of an update when it comes down to uh, Preply and their whiteboard they've definitely um, incorporated invested quite a lot so far and if you've got any questions about the Preply whiteboard the teaching platform itself feel free to ask below. I'll be happy to share my advice, my insight, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and happy teaching. Bye-bye.